Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's favorites, or this week's favorites, is going to be what I'm calling my curly hair edition. These are products that um, I have used for some of them for years. Some of them are kind of new, but it's just products that I have found and some tips and tricks on how I really maintain my curls. Um, I do have natural curly hair. I don't do anything to get these curls other than what I'm going to talk to you about. So I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you learn something and if you have curly hair I hope that this helps. So let's kind of get started and I hope my lighting is okay and everything. I'm using a different setting on my camera and I don't know I look really kind of dark so I hope that everything's good. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is maintenance for your curls. And maintenance being um, conditioning, shampooing, and just maintaining the curls. So the first thing I want to talk about is about once a week you should be doing a deep conditioning treatment on your hair. And this is a product that you can put in your hair after you've cleansed it and everything. Um, and leave it on for, you know, a good... 30 minutes at least and the product that I like is just a very natural product and it's um, coconut oil. I do use this once a week and I use it in two different ways. Um, one is I can just take it out of the jar and this is just one that I have from Vitacost. Any um, coconut oil is going to work um, and it is in a solid state can see and what I do is I just scoop out a handful in my hand and uh, rub it together and emulsify it and then I just start coating my hair with it until I feel like my hair is really really coated very well with this and then I will um, just go around the rest of the morning or afternoon or whatever with it in my hair I try to leave it in at least 30 minutes um, maybe even longer maybe an hour if I can if it's on the weekend or something but I do recommend I'm um, using some type of deep conditioning treatment. Doesn't necessarily have to be coconut oil. Um, it could be a deep conditioning treatment of your choice. Doesn't matter, but um, I do like the coconut oil. The second way that I use it as a um, hot oil treatment is that I will just take that same amount that I would put into my hair dry. I put it into a bowl and heat it up for about 30 seconds or so in the microwave. Just make sure you don't get it too hot. And then I saturate my hair with the with the hot oil. And then I do wrap it up in a t-shirt. And I'll talk about the t-shirt method here in a little bit. But I just wrap it up in a t-shirt and then leave it on for a good 30 minutes or an hour or two hours. However long I feel like I can leave it on. And then um, for cleansing and conditioning um, on a daily basis, or I wouldn't necessarily say daily because I, your curls do not need to be washed every single day. I usually shampoo and um, wash my hair or condition it twice a week. Now, there's going to be some people that like a, um, that they don't use shampoo on their their curls they use like a, a cleansing conditioner called a co-wash I don't feel that that works for me so I don't do the co-wash method no um, there are a lot of people like I said with curly hair that do the co-wash method and there's nothing wrong with that everyone's hair is different and when you have curly hair you will find that your curls are kind of a a beast upon of their own and they have the mind of their own and you kind of have to just work with things and see what works the best and um, co-washing for me just didn't really work so the two products that I'm using now that I, out of everything that I've tried I'm really liking this combination the best and it's the Kerastase the Bain Olay curl it's a shampooing for um, curl definition for dry curly and unruly hair it looks like this here I did find mine at um, Nordstrom Rack so I did get it at a discount and I just feel like this does very well with cleansing my hair without stripping it without making it over dry and it just kind of helps with the curls it has a nice smell to it it's a thick um, con consistency and I just 
so far as I like it for cleansing cleansing my curls now this next product is actually the mask um, it is the curl intense and uh, but I use it as my my conditioner just my normal conditioner I will put it in and then I will try to leave it in for a, at least a good five six minutes uh, while I'm in the shower so I've been using that and just feel like it does very well with conditioning the curls without weighing them down so those are the shampoo and the um, conditioner that I'm using the next product that I want to talk about for maintaining the curls is um, again I'm talking about a whole lot about keeping the curls moisturized because curls do not hold or retain moisture um, it's just the way that the cuticle is on the hair it's just very hard for us curly headed girls to have very moisturized hair we usually have very dry hair and dry hair then does lead to frizz so another product that I have used and this is the second bottle of this and this is another product from Kerastase I did get this at um, Nordstrom Rack once again and it's a um, Kerastase Elixir Oleo Complex Oil. And I don't know with it being the color that it is if you're going to be able to see it. Um, but anyway, that is it. Now this is, um, you can also find this on Amazon. And it has some different oils in it that act together to really create um, a moisturized curls. Um, I like to put these in my hair when it's damp, when it's wet. And I mainly put it from about here down. I don't have I don't have an oily scalp, but I don't have an over dry scalp either. Um, I think I have like a normal scalp, so I just kind of put it from about here down as far as the curls. Anyway, it has basic oil, which is for antioxidants. Um, pro um, Procax. Cax oil which is for deep conditioning and for nourishment then it has camellia oil in it which is to help to kind of smooth the hair and then argan oil which is to help to restore the strength of your hair so I really do recommend this I like this out of all of the oils that I have tried and I have tried a lot this is by far been my favorite my hair responds very well to this oil so I do recommend that okay also, um, to help maintain the curls, as far as the strength of them goes, is a product that you want to use or an item, and that's a wide tooth comb. Now, if you have natural curly hair, you're not going to want to cur um, brush your hair. Never, ever, ever, um, for several reasons. Um, first of all, if you brush your hair and you have curls and you're brushing it when you're is dry you're going to end up with hair that's like this that's going to be out to you it's going to be it's going to be huge and it's not going to be pretty it's going to be frizzy it's going to look like a giant bird's nest is what it's going to look like um, plus the bristles on a brush they can break the natural shape of your curl so if you're, as you're using a brush it's going to distort the um, how your curls lay and they're not going to lay pretty at all so you want to use a wide tooth comb and the best time to use your wide tooth comb is after you have put some conditioner on and then you want to comb through your hair and get all the tangles out while you're still in the shower and then um, use it afterwards to kind of comb through your um, product and I'll tell you I'll talk about that here in a minute on how I use my um, styling gel but um, yes a wide tooth comb is definitely a must for um, curly headed girls I recommend to get one that has the curved handle so that you can hang it on your shower okay so now we've gotten we've moisturized we've deep conditioned we've shampooed we've moisturized and now we and we've treated with our oil so now let's go into what we're going to do to style our hair and I want to talk about next this product here and this you can get from your husband you could go to Walmart and buy a pack of them um, but I'm sure everyone probably has 
some kind of old t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt, a 100% cotton t-shirt are laying around somewhere. Mine's kind of grungy, so um, ignore it, but um, I don't use a towel of any kind on my hair. Never, ever, ever. Even when I go to get my hair done, I don't let her use a terry cloth type towel on my hair. I take a t-shirt with me and that's what she uses. Um, because your normal everyday terry cloth towel will cause frizz. It will disrupt the pattern of the curls and it, just, it causes frizz and it can cause breakage also on your hair. So when I get out of the shower, I just wrap my hair up in a t-shirt just like I would with a towel just to kind of get you know, the water out. And then once I've gotten the water out and then I'll comb it again and then I will put my gel in which my gel my favorite gel that I've used for years and years and years and years swear by this is called Wee Dad and it's the curl quencher moisturizing styling gel and it just looks like that there now you can purchase this at um, Sephora and Ulta this is the big leader um, you have to get the leader size on the Wee Dad website which is what I do um, I want to say I go through one and a half of these a year, so it lasts me a very long time. This does run around $70, but um, they offer 20% off coupons quite a bit, and if you use Ebates, you can also get cash back on that, so it kind of brings that price down, and for me, because this lasts me a, almost a whole year, it's very worth that price point. I also have a smaller can, a bottle of it that I take with me to the hair salon because I won't let her use any of her um, styling products on my hair either. So <laughs> I'm very picky about when it comes to my curls and about who touches them and what they put in it. And that's another thing, I didn't put this on my notes, but also you want to make sure that you have a hairstylist that is familiar with and very well versed in cutting curly hair because you just can't go to any random person and get a haircut. You need to do some research. You need to call that salon. You need to talk to the owner of the salon. Tell them uh, the type of hair you have, what your style is. Woo! Uh-oh. There I am. Um, what your style is, what you're looking for, and if they have anybody that is there that is um, trained to cut curly hair. And then you want to talk to that person if they have somebody because there's been a lot of times I've called a salon and they're like, no, we don't have anybody that you know I, can, I feel comfortable telling you that will cut curly hair because if you've been in the industry for any amount of time with cutting hair, you know that curly hair is not easy to cut. And then you want to talk to that person that is recommended to you. You probably even want to just set up a consultation and go in and just visit with them, get a vibe, um, talk to them about how they would cut it, what they would, how they would cut it, and then go for there. Do your research before you just go and let anybody start chopping at your hair because you will not be happy if you find someone or you get someone that does not know how to cut hair because you will end up with your curls in all disarray. You will end up with looking like a pyramid. It will not be pretty. It will not and you will not be happy with your hair for a good eight weeks at least. So a good hairstylist is key also. All right, so now we've got um, our product in our hair. I also use my comb to kind of comb up here in the crown to get a little bit of lift and volume right in here. And I have another product that I'm gonna show you that's gonna help with that also. So I use this, and I'm pretty liberal with my, with my gel. And I can be with this one because it does not make your hair or your curls crunchy at all. But yet, it will hold them. Um, gosh, and it doesn't flake. Now, they have another one, another um, formula that's the anti-humidity one 
from this brand that I do not like. That one will flake in my hair like nobody's business. This does not flake. It doesn't make my hair curls feel crunchy it makes them feel soft and manageable and plus the smell of it is to die for it smells so good it will make your hair smell good i highly recommend it it just helps to hydrate the strands from the inside out it has metal foam seed oil and amino flour in it that's for moisturization but and like i said i have used the We Dead line for years. I first started out using the Tresex. Um, then I had tried the um, anti-humidity one, which is their most popular one, but I did not like that one. And then when they came out with this line, the moisturizing line, fell in love with it. Now, I don't like their cleansing products or their conditioning products, but this is the, the styling gel that I like the most. And like I said, I've used it for forever and ever and ever. Okay, so now I've got all of my gel in my hair. And then I've styled it. And now I'm going to go um, through the day. Because I do not use heat styling on my curls at all. And if you do, you want to make sure that you use a diffuser. Don't just blow dry your curls because you're going to end up with massive big curls. No, I just um, style, style it. Get them where I want them and then I air dry and something that I use to help with the air drying to make it go a little bit faster it also helps give me some volume here in the crown where I want it and right in here are these little duckbill clamps um, we dad does sell a pack of them I just found these I think I got these at Walmart they're just little duckbill clamps you want to make sure you get the ones that have the holes right here so that you can get some airflow and this is what I do when my hair is so wet after I've gotten everything in it I've got my curls situated I just take one here and lift it there I take one here and lift it you can see and then I take here you can see what I'm doing there and then I put one about in here thereabouts and then I just let my hair dry this way <laughs> I go around probably a good two to three hours of the morning time with my hair up in little clips like this it doesn't bother me I go to the drive-thru at Brawls or McDonald's and then I drive to work and get there and the guys they're they're used to seeing me with these little clips in my hair and then after a couple hours my hair's dry then I take them out and I have created some volume and some lift in those areas that I want. Um, you necessarily may not need volume in those areas, but they're very good to also to help with um, drying your hair. I could use more if I wanted to, and my hair would probably dry a little bit faster. But to be honest with you, I've lost all of them. I used to have a whole bunch of them, and I used to put them everywhere. But I've lost them, um, and I mainly just use those four right there. But that is how I do my curls. I very rarely use any type of hairspray. Um, I just don't like the way it dries my hair out. And like I said, natural curly hair has a tendency to be extremely dry. Okay, and then my final product that I want to talk to you about is um, that you can do at night and it's also good for your skin and that is sleeping on a satin pillow a satin pillow will definitely help with keeping the frizzies at bay when you have natural curly hair possibly even with if you have straight hair i don't know my favorite brand is called morning glamour this is also good for skin um, it helps to uh, reduce those lines that you get when you sleep but I found this one at TJ Maxx for $7.99. My original set I got on Amazon. It was a two-pack for $20. But it was this brand here, which is called Morning Glamour. And I got this one to use on my spare pillow out in my motorhome. But I've um, got the little cheetah print. It just looks like that there. It fits a standard size pillow. Um, I, very nice quality. Um, haven't had any problems with it so yeah and I have used I have slept on a satin pillow for probably well over or a satin pillowcase well over 10 years so it's been something that 
have done for a very long time to help with with my curls um, that's what I originally started out using the satin pillows cases for was for my curls and then I found out probably within like the last couple years that it's good for your um, skin too anyway so that is it that is my favorite those are products that I stand behind that I think will help you to have very pretty curls um, and I hope that helps and now I'm rambling so I will close up um, thank you so much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed and I'll be talking to you soon